What? Enter for a surprise? Uh... Eh. What? Oh, look. A blood red portal. This isn't terrifying at all. Eh. We could go through. Here we go. Oh. What? Uh... Where am I? Oh. The gravity's so low. Oh, no. <gasps> is that... Is that the earth? If this is the earth, then... I must be on the moon! Pause. This is Minecraft, but you're on the moon. In this video, I've made it to where instead of trying to beat Minecraft on Earth, I'm going to try to beat the game on the moon. However, I only have a limited amount of oxygen in my spacesuit, so I have to be quick or else I'll suffocate to death. Will I be able to beat the game before I run out of oxygen? Watch to find out. Also, a small percentage of viewers who watch this video are actually subscribed, so be sure to subscribe and also like so we could beat the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, that's pretty much it, and I hope you have a great day. Three, two, one, go. Just go, 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 go. There's so many mobs out here. And guess what? Uh, I'm an astronaut now. Oh, boy. And everything is trying to kill me. Oh! There's just a few things that are just kind of different, you know? Like, you know, this. We got moon rocks. My oxygen is going low really, really quickly. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's the <laughs> Yeah, we're really on the moon. Oh, that's a village. We're actually at a village now. This is great because, you know, we actually kind of like need to get wood somewhere or whatever. And I'm pretty sure like the only place I could actually get wood here. By pure chance, a village. And I'm incredibly lucky to have a village. And I'm saying this as there's just so many mobs, dude. The thing about the moon is that since it's always nighttime, there's always going to be mobs spawning because the light level is so dark. One last thing I should mention is that with the moon comes with this. It's low gravity. I mean, look how high it could jump and everything. This is perfect. Now, if you didn't know, there's like a little thing that says oxygen left 97%. If I'm not fast enough, then I'm going to die in 90 minutes. So I have to actually speed run here in the moon or else it's over. That is the big, huge, monumental thing about this is that if I'm not quick enough, then I'm going to run out of oxygen and I'm going to die. And that's not going to be okay. So let's go and get these moon stones. Let's just get a few moon stones. You could use the moon stones for this. You could get cobblestone. Also, why are you shooting me? Stop. Now let's go take a bit of this real quick. I'm going to get some really essential goods like this. A stone hoe. I'm gonna skip the shovel. I'm gonna just go straight for the hoe. Let's take this. Oh my god, my my wood's floating away, dude! I need that! I'm trying my best to get as many resources as I can before I die from these stupid skeletons, man. I am hopping away. Three, two, one, go! Jump, 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 jump. Leave, leave, leave. Now we gotta go this way. The plan is that we're gonna go all the way to the food because I really need food. And if I don't get food, I'm just gonna die. And that's not okay. How about this? I'm gonna go and mine my way into this thing. And then I patch it up. 500 IQ move. And then we're in here. Oh! <laughs> okay, we got some armor. However, I can't change any armor. You know why? Because I have astronaut boots and leggings and chest plate. I have astronaut armor and it's unique armor and if i take out the armor then i will die anyways we're gonna go and make we can go and make a pickaxe but i think a better thing is to get a, a diamond sword because i want to prep up a really good weapon for the dragon when we have to go and kill the dragon later and i'm pretty sure the fastest way i could kill the dragon is through melee with a sword here let's go and also make a pickaxe all right let's also get a bunch of wood throughout this whole entire challenge i'm pretty sure this is like the only place i'm gonna be able to get like wood nowhere else because everything else is just moon rocks let's go make a shield because i should really like stray away from all these like skeleton dudes and and try not to get hit by them. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. I have the food. I have diamond stuff. I got iron stuff. What else? What else do I need? I don't think I need anything else. I'll be honest with you. I should probably go down now. I'm going to leave. Also, holy crap. Look at this coal. This coal is very interesting. Hello, coal. I'm going to go down. Let's mine downwards. We're going to mine so... <laughs> okay. Oh. No fall damage. That's pretty nice. I thought I was going to be in a ripperoni, you know, just kind of a, a ripperoni situation where I'd have to be careful of like doing an MLG water or whatever because of, you know, gravity. But I guess not because it's the moon. So this is what the astronauts in NASA back in 1969 had to do. Interesting. Let's go also make our, our portal. I think that would be good. Here we go. <clears throat> There. Oh my god, I need flint and steel. Wait a minute, I don't even have flint and steel. Holy crap. Uh, I need, I guess, wood? The wood needs to go on fire. The wood needs to go on fire. Let's try that. Oh, it, <laughs> it works instantly. That's amazing. All right, now it's time to go. Here we go. Oh. Oh my god. I honestly, I'm very happy that I'm cranking it. I'm cranking it really fast. If I make these boots real quick, these golden boots, can I swap it really quickly? And it won't kill me? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. The game doesn't want me to take out my boots. Okay. I'm just gonna have to have gold all around if I don't want to die from pig boys. Oh, God. This could determine if I'm gonna lose all my oxygen by the time I try to beat the dragon or if I'm gonna actually live and have enough time to go and kill it. Let's go over here. Oh, <laughs> I can fly.
float. I could jump so far. It's so nice. We still need to find a fortress, though. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. I had to do, like, a weird twirl around, like, that edge, that edge ledge. And then now... I think this is the fortress. This is the most green fortress I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> All right, we're going to just tower up here. Oh, man, this is so different. There's so many things that are different. Is that blazes I hear? I think that's the spawner literally right there. Yes, it is. Okay. Come here. Give me rods. Yes, thank you. Now keep doing that. Thank you, guys. Okay, we have nine blaze rods. That gives us 18 blaze powder. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Now we're gonna leave. That was the fastest fortress I've had yet. That was really good. You know, I, I could mine a little bit of this real quick just to like give me like possibly a bit of luck. And even then too, I don't even have any gold armor that I'm wearing right now. So all of the piglins that I'd be nearby that I would go up to, they would be mad at me by default. And that's not okay. So maybe this might be a better option. Maybe it's just better that I could just go and like trade outside of a bastion, which means in terms of the structures that I found so far in the nether, this is really, really good for me. And we still have 73% oxygen left. We just need to be really, really lucky with these pearl trades. I really hope we could get some good stuff. Hey, yo, big boy. Here, take some. <laughs> there, take that. Man, you really tried getting the one that's like flying in the air. Let me take that for you. Oh, yes, pearls. What the heck? How many pearls did we get? We got five pearls. What? Come on. I'm looking out. Give me more. I have an idea. I'm actually going to go inside real quick. I want to get some loot from the fortress. Oh, yes, more gold. Very nice. <laughs> oh my god, how much gold is in here? I feel like I'm wasting time now. I'm gonna leave. Oh, we're at 69%. Nice, question mark. It's a nice number, but I'm closer to death than ever before, so that's just great. Oh, yes, more pearls. Thank you. It's working. Oh, <laughs> there's more pearls right there. Wait, we have enough. I could leave. I could actually leave now. This is really good. Oh, get the pearls. Let's get out of here. By pure luck, I've been able to go and get my pearls really quickly. Thank goodness, man. We're on our way. We're on our way. I could smell the portal from here. Come on, show yourself, portal. I need my exit. Come on. Portal, please. Portal, please. Portal, please. Yes! I flow all the way to the portal. I don't care. Good. There. We did it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Nice. We actually made it. Very good. Very good. We got to leave this place. Holy crap. We're, we're back up on the surface now. I'm so relieved and happy and also relieved. I'm going to go get a little bit more wood because I have a, a little theory in mind, but I, I need a check. I need a check if this is true, okay? I need to go and get a bow real quick because if I get a bow, then I'm able to go and show you what I mean, okay? Let's go and kill some spiders real quick. I need some string. Quack. There you go. We have five string now. Please tell me this theory is going to work well. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. A bow. Nice. So let me show you what it would look like if I actually shot on the moon with a bow and arrow. Let's try it. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is not going to work if I'm going to have to shoot crystals in the end. This is going to be a very, very rough ending, dude. I, I just basically concluded that you can't really use a bow in the end. Usually I would go and shoot the end crystals and all that. Not today. I'm going to have to go and bridge to every single end crystal. And I got to punch the crystals if I want to go break them. So that's going to be interesting. Let's also not lose time. We got to go. Let me get a little bit more wood, though, because I'm going to have to go and bridge a bunch. <laughs> Okay, I have so much wood now. This is really, really, really good. I need to use this wood for building blocks when we have to go to the end. And you'll see later why. But anyways, I think it's time for us to go and actually uh, get to the stronghold. Let's do this. Let's go. First things first, I'm just going to go and make nine eyes of ender. There you go. Boom. And we throw it. And it's that direction. Okay, interesting. Oh, wait, it floats upwards. I have to go and catch the eye. Okay, it doesn't go down because of gravity. It just goes up. We got to go. We got to go. All right, throwing. <gasps> it goes backwards. Yes. Okay. So it's around. It's like 300 blocks away. That's a great, great sign that it's close. Very, very close. It's probably on this mountain. It's literally on this mountain. It's right here. Oh, it is. It is most definitely right here. It's time to mine down now. Here we go. Let's do this. It's time. This is suspenseful because of how slow I'm mining. Yes. Yes. This is weird looking. That door is interesting. Now we have to go around. Let's find this portal. Come on. Yo! It's right here! Bang! Oh, moonfish. Get away, moonfish. I'm going to go and make the rest of the eyes, just like so. And then we're going to go and do this. It is ready! I don't have a bed. This is the only chance. It's time to enter. 
the end. Here we go. Oh, oh boy. This is an interesting end. It's so orange and red. The sky is orange. The obsidian is reddish. And the dragon? There's the dragon. And her eyes and fireballs are also red. It's time to go and break these crystals. I can't shoot it, so we're gonna have to just tower our way. Oh, there's one. That's another right there. I'm gonna float to the other one. Bang, another. Go to the cage. Cage number one. Bang! The next one. Bang! We're making our progress here, boys! Bang! Another one. Bah! Nice! Oh! I think this is the last one! Oh, it is. It is 100%. That is the first one, and here's the last one. Bang! That's it! That's all! Okay, now we just gotta wait until it perches, and then we're gonna go and slam it with our sharp blue stick! Here we go! Oh god, we gotta go, we gotta go. It's time to deal some real damage to the dragon! Here we go! Oh! Slams! Oh, she's perching again. Go, 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 go. Come on! Go, go, go halfway! Come on, dragon! Get slammed! 360 slams! Oh my god! You're so low! Oh my god! Oh! I have an idea! Chat perch maneuver. Ah! It's the finale. There we go! And, and, and. with 20% of oxygen left to spare. We did it. Let's go break this. Oh, nice. And we float down and we win. GG. Thanks for watching. That was fun. Bye.